In this series, we're performing a direct comparison between the RSI technical indicator and the newer stochastic RSI. So today, I compare how a time of day filter improves overbought, oversold strategies from each of these two indicators. Back after this brief message. Darwin X is a UK FCA regulated broker and asset manager on a mission to disrupt the financial trading, investing and asset management industries. If you're a talented trader looking to attract investor capital to your strategies, Darwin X is the fastest way for you to do this. We enable traders to raise third party investor capital and then charge success fees on high watermark profits. Additionally, Darwin X itself invests in its traders with our seed capital allocation program that allocates up to 90 million euros per year in successful trading strategies. So if all of that sounds interesting, learn more by clicking on the link here or you can find further links in the description right below. Now back to today's tutorial. Let's get straight into this and see if we can get a similar improvement for the standard RSI indicator as we did for the newer stochastic RSI. Having completed the time of day analysis for the stochastic RSI last time, I now move on to the standard RSI indicator. And remember that this is just one episode in the Spotlight on Indicators series. You can find a link to all other episodes in the video description. So an extremely brief recap of the analysis and results so far. So this was our initial comparison of the standard RSI and the stochastic RSI without any time of day filters. And this is simply using them to produce overbought and oversold signals, which are effectively the open and close signals for the strategy. And what was clear at this point is that the stochastic RSI that we see in yellow here has a far preferable equity curve to the standard RSI. There were a few more considerations, but to find out about those, then please watch those previous episodes. Now, in my opinion, for nothing other than those open and closed signals, so no other filters whatsoever, I think the performance that we're getting with the stochastic RSI here in yellow is relatively reasonable for this stage of the strategy development process. I always have a big emphasis on the number of trades and therefore the statistical significance of results. And the standard RSI was producing just a little over 8,000 trades and the stochastic RSI nearly 31,000 trades. And I said at the time that the standard RSI was causing me concern with not having very many trades at this point of the development. And that as soon as we do start to apply filters, that number will obviously reduce further. So quite a major concern there regarding the standard RSI. We then started to look at some time of day analysis for the stochastic RSI first of all. So this is the baseline we saw a moment ago. And with the very simple implementation of a time of day filter, we managed to improve the equity curve, as you can see here in red. But because we're now filtering out trades, of course, the number decreased. And so we've just got over 17,000 now, which is still a reasonable number. So as I said last time, the way that I perform this analysis is to output the metrics for every position that is opened to a CSV file. And please see the previous episode for more details on that. But this time I'm just going to go straight in and create our pivot table here. And I'm going to analyze the normalized net profit based on the open hour of day. So this is the hour represented as a decimal that each position opened. And if you remember last time, by looking at the data for each trade individually, doesn't really give us any intelligence at all. And so we need to group this data and I'm going to group it hour by hour. So we can now see a consolidated 
representation of the profit. Now, the first thing to recognize here is that the data seems to be much less reliable for RSI than it was for the stochastic RSI. And I think there's two reasons behind this. Firstly, the statistical significance is much less. So we only have about a quarter of the trades that we had with stochastic RSI. So data is always going to be less reliable when that's the case. And secondly, remember, we're starting off from a baseline here for RSI, where this is a losing strategy at the moment. Whereas for stochastic RSI, even with just the signal, that was already a profit-making strategy. But if you remember from the stochastic RSI analysis, there was a very strong indication there that opening trades in the Asian session and then relying on those reversals in price action that often occur when the European markets open seem to be a much clearer pattern. Now, we do see that here as well. So in the first part of the day, up until 7 a.m., which of course is the Asian session, those trades on average do show a profit. We've got this one here that doesn't, but again, I'm convinced this is just down to a lack of statistical significance. But then on the whole, apart from a few individual hours here that do show a profit, on the whole, it's loss-making if we're opening trades in the European and US sessions. So I'm really not happy or comfortable with the quality of this data based on that lack of statistical significance. But I'm going to push on anyway, just so that we have some kind of a comparison between RSI and stochastic RSI. And I'm going to set a time of day filter to only allow trades to open up until 7 a.m. in the morning. So let's go ahead now and start that off. Okay, so that's already looking a little bit better. But I'll rejoin this once the strategy tester has completed. Okay, so that's now finished. And already we can see that it has made an improvement and we now have a slightly profitable trading strategy. But what I really need to do is to compare this to the baseline without the time of day filter. So this was the baseline using just the open and close signals. And this is the improvement that we just saw a moment ago with that time of day filter implemented. But remember, the purpose of this analysis really is to compare the standard RSI with the stochastic RSI indicators in terms of their ability to produce good quality open and close signals based on price action being overbought and oversold. So we need to compare this green line here with the stochastic RSI time of day filter. And that looks like this. So here the green line is still the standard RSI that we produced a moment ago. And the yellow equity curve is from the last episode from the stochastic RSI. And clearly the latter there is superior. But again, I want to come back to the issue of statistical significance with RSI, because now we only have 4,000 trades. And this isn't an acceptable number for me personally. I've shown in many videos in the past that when you don't have sufficient numbers of trades, equity curves tend to be driven as much by a random chance as they do any real edge in the trading strategy. And so the overall outcome here, and my opinion of this has not changed. Stochastic RSI wins the prize, and the standard RSI is definitely a runner up. But remember, I'm only looking at both of these indicators for one type of strategy and using them to produce signals based on overbought and oversold behavior. Clearly, there are many other ways of using these indicators that I haven't tested. And so in those cases, RSI might come out much better than the stochastic RSI. So I'm not saying stochastic RSI is generally better, 
but it does appear to be much better in this use case. Okay, so there's just one more technique that I want to use to compare these two indicators just once more, and that's what I call time of day equity flow. And so I'll be providing an overview of what this technique is in the next episode. And then in the two episodes that follow, I'll be implementing that technique, firstly for Stochastic RSI, and secondly for the standard. If you think you have any relevant information, hints or tips about the topic of any of my videos, then please remember to comment so that I and other viewers can all benefit from your insights. Also, if you're getting value from this video, then please remember to give me a thumbs up. Now, until next time, trade safe.